Morning, welcome to Lobster Claws Recovering. I'm Brittany. Isn't that spectacular? We are on Fort Lauderdale Beach this morning. And we are gearing up to go. Oh, it is stunning. All right, so thank you for joining and we will start shortly. And we are walking to the beach. So this is gonna be a unusual day. So far it's very quiet. It is about seven o'clock. I'm gonna do some beach and then I'm gonna decide whether I wanna go in the water. It's a little rough. It may not look rough, but you get in there and you try to maneuver. It might be more rough than you think. All right, so it's a really beautiful morning. It's a quiet morning. And we're getting into it shortly. All right. The sand is wet. We'll see how that impacts today's efforts. We've got um, the bone phones this morning, which are a bit of a challenge because they are corded as opposed to cordless. I'm gonna run reactivity a little higher today at two, 2.0. Uh, it's been the advice of uh, somebody who um, has been gracious enough to take the time to explain certain things and to try to help. And uh, we're gonna try some of his advice. We're gonna just turn reactivity up a bit and I'm gonna try to slow down a bit. We'll see where that gets us. I'm gonna operate in Gen Max, which is my modified version of the Gen Pro General Program. And discrimination's at 10. Sensitivity, we're gonna try a little higher. Might blow up on us. We're gonna do 97, we'll see how it goes. Frequency shift, we'll find out. Iron volume's gonna be at five. Reactivity, we said 2.0. And that is I'm doing a scan. All right, we're gonna be back once we get to the first target. Now, um, I've got it on, um, speaker is on. And I want you guys to see. It's not easy to do, right, let's get rid of the shovel. All right, so. I've got the speaker on. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is likely junk. We're going to dig it and find out. Yeah, this is an aluminum cap. I can tell by the sound. So the, the, the moral of the story is, if you're not sure, uncover the target until you are sure. Keep uncovering it. What does that mean? Well, 
You might end up un uncovering all of it. You might not. Well, it's uh, been a late start. We're on first target here. And we got it on the first scoop. And we're on the board with Penny. Yippee, all right. Penny is better than zero. And you never know if there's a good target underneath that. So get those pennies out and rescan the area. And you might get something good. Let's continue on our treasure hunt and see what we find together. See that? Isn't that beautiful? The beach is not good today. I might go out a little bit just because I'm crazy, but I don't know. We'll see. All right, so we're going to dig a target that I know is junk. That is definitely junk. All right, let's see. Right? You see that? And let's look at it for VDI. Sixty-four. Now, it can be argued that you shouldn't notch out anything. But, um, you could with high precision on these beaches, knock, notch out 62 to 68 without issue. And you could probably go to 69 if you wanted to. Um, pull tabs fall below those values and above those values. But I wouldn't go below six, actually I wouldn't go below 63 to 68. I stand corrected. Why? Because you don't want to miss nickels. So far it's been a slow morning. We are just going through an area. I went through the other day and got a coin spill. Getting used to the bone phones is a bit of a challenge. But it's gotten better. Here we have we're using the XY screen, and this target can't maintain a VDI number to save its life. All right, Mr. Target, what are you? I have no idea. Like the schizophrenic target. My, my thought is probably aluminum. I wouldn't dig that. It was going from like in the 50s to the 70s to the 80s. No, 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 no. When it's dancing all over the screen like that in XY, I mean, it's just pointless. Uh, for those of you who are unaccustomed to the XY screen, uh, this is not uh, a difficult mountain to climb. Just... Uh, Get a box full of uh, like beach junk, like bottle caps and screw caps and 
this caps and that caps and pull tabs and blah, 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 blah. Bouncing around, I wouldn't dig that. Now I'm not confident of this target. I'm thinking it's a screw cap. 95, 99, I don't know. We'll dig it. Mm. Yep, nope. See, what am I? I am a screw cap. You're a bad screw cap. And your punishment is straight to the brig. Goodbye. Put you in the crasha. Yeah, if you see that, really the only time you're going to get that is if you're hitting silver. And if it can't maintain a BDI, it's most likely a larger screw cap. Large as in maybe 30 millimeters in diameter, like that, at 25.4 mil, 25 to the inch. All right, uh, any coin spill that I got the other day is gone. And there, there isn't any beach to talk about. It's at high tide, and uh, it's terrible. There's, it's horrendous today. It's the turtle guy. In the meantime, we have no target. Oh, we have a dime. Yay, dime. Hello, Mr. Roosevelt. How much longer before they hatch? Some, some any day, some six or seven weeks. They all come in different times. At night, always. All right, cool. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good day, bad day. Yeah, you're waiting for the winter. Exactly. The, the Where's the beach? The beach is terrible right now. The beach is terrible. Better than what it's been. Shot. But we got a king tide going on, so. Oh, that's what the deal is. So it'll be down a bit later. Yeah, well, this is this is basically the beginning of king tide season. It's the first time, and uh, what's what called a bathtub kind of, just a slight elevation, and then goes down. So the next four days will be this way. Oh, I see. not much of a difference between high and low tide. Well, That's well, the point. This is a higher than normal tide, but it's yeah, not definitely. High. Yeah. Um, come up the end of the month or October, as the winds pick up, it's a it's a forcing. King tide, so we'll have the elevation with the high winds and the high surf, and then that will come up higher. Yeah, this beach has been at it for 70 years, ever since the 50s, late 40s. Yeah. Well, we've done beach nourishment. They used to park. I yeah. I came down here then. You know, I tried to tell some people on the on the county commission in Dania. I'm like, you know, there are other ideas besides dredging. Well, with dredge, they don't, they, they don't they, listen. Huh? They dredge for the um, sand to recoup the sand that was put on the beach. They also uh, the beach. This part, this beach last renourishment was done um, from taking it from the quarry. Quarry. Yeah, but there's actually another way. Uh, they actually put out these things, and they have holes that are bigger on the outside than on the inside. And what happens is the water and the sand come through them. You set them out like a brick wall, and then it comes through and then whatever gets through doesn't go back out. So the sand that gets in that stays affects, in. That affects the natural movement of the, of the reef. Because what you're describing is putting a breaker out there. No, no, you do it. No, you could just go 10 feet out. Yeah, but you, it's still, it's still, it, it, they're trying to keep, that can affect several different things if, it, if it's exposed. I they've don't also, know. They've, there are many different things that they've tried. They've tried burying um, giant sandbags. Those don't work. They get exposed. Up in Deerfield, they tried um, burying um, like jetties, or not jetties, but groins that are buried in the sand so that it helps the sand from movement at a certain point when, when erosion hits a certain point so that it doesn't hit the seawall. Right. I'm familiar with groins. Yeah. 
well, yeah, and these are buried on the beach where, um, and then jetties, which are just a disaster at any beach. Yeah, I've seen what they do. They, they sort of scallop up the beach. And our beach scallops as it is. So if you take a look up this way, you can see how it kind of goes in and out. Yeah. So after uh, Hurricane Sandy, we noticed it, that the beach is scalloped and it's been doing that ever since. It's probably because it's carved out farther out and it's... Could be. Could be. I'd, I'd have to put some aerials again to see. Yeah. Nice talking with you. Have a wonderful day. So that was, not to be funny, but Parks and Recreation. Uh, do I agree? I don't know. He seemed to know what he's talking about. So we're, we're in the middle of a king tide. Um, that was an impromptu interview. And uh, I don't know if he realized he was on film, but I wouldn't say anything. I wouldn't put him in a bad light anyway. I don't put people in a bad light. I would rather trim up or even not show the video if it's in a bad light. I, I, I don't like that journalistic sort of thing. It's not my game. Catch people off guard. So the turtles can hatch any time. See, I, I, I have to tell you, um, I'm not a big newspaper reader. And I don't watch the news because I don't believe most of what I hear. So... I just gave up, um, which is sad, but that's, Amer that's, that's America for you. I haven't given up on the truth, but I certainly don't find it in the news. Anyway, um, so oh, we got something. Definitely worth digging, 83, top right to bottom left. <sighs> That was worth getting wet for. Not at all. That is here. You guys see that? That is a screw cap. I bet you. I bet you fifty bucks. It's a screw cap. Yes, it's a screw cap. Y'all owe me fifty bucks. Uh, and there goes the hat. Ooh, I got a race car. Yeah, that was worthwhile. It's a Corvette. I could put it next to my real one. Hot, not really. That is very cool. So we found some, these are diamonds. First of all, I gotta tell you that, they're diamonds, yeah. This one's worth like five million, this one's worth about two million. Yes, I am joking. This is uh, costume jewelry. Ring about, um, yeah, it's a joke from the other day, right? All right, let's see. About 82. But you never know, because gold rings, gold rings in that area, you know? So, welcome back to Lobster Calls Recovery. I'm Brittany, and we are doing a quick review on a pair of scuba boots that I got. Uh, these are made by SEAC. They are the five millimeter. Uh, even if you're gonna dive in tropical conditions, five millimeter is a good bet. Uh, these were not my number one choice on the soles. I was looking for something more structured, uh, but I do like that they have a, um, uh, uh, this is your flipper re retention uh, for the, the strap to keep the retention. I don't know exactly how you call it. Nice zipper, easy to get your hands on, even with gloves. Take off with gloves. All right, so there's that. Uh, I took the 
And these are the um, bone phones. I, I don't have anything against the bone phones. They're just not my favorites. I, I, I don't know, maybe it's just in my hearing. It's not so good, and, and I realize they're bone phones, but um, I don't know. I felt like I was struggling to hear the target. So anyway, uh, yeah, as I was saying, I felt like I was struggling to, hit the, to get the target and find the target, hear the target. Uh, today was not very... <sighs> Wow, that was brilliant. Look where it landed. Um, look what I remember to bring. Look at all my little friends. Aren't they cute? They come in multicolors. And they like going in the trash can. Um, okay, so uh, the best thing out of it was I got a Corvette. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have to pay sales tax on it. Florida, you have to register all motor vehicles. You have to pay sales tax. So we'll see about that. Um, yes, joking. Um, yeah, like really not very great. Um, I guess I should have. I mean, I was not exactly where I was before. This is so nasty. People in their trash. So I'm just going to keep... All this other stuff is going in the dump. And I'll do that later. Here, we'll start it. Okay. Corvette we keep. You know what I do with these? I end up giving them to my neighbor. He's got a couple of boys, and they love that stuff. And I've given them a bunch of toys that I have. And I'll do it again. So this annoying, like, 31 aluminum... Never seen one of these before. Trash earring. So long. Cap. Aluminum cap. Who is that? All right, so we're just wrapping up here. And um, yeah, it wasn't very uh, profitable. But it's, you know, going out there is always fun. Uh, I'll definitely be going somewhere else for a while. Uh, the King Tides are out. And um, it is uh, making it difficult to detect on the beach because the water is so high. For those of you who have not uh, heard about what's going on in Australia, they are having um, some tremendous activity on their beaches where the erosion is just um, unprecedented. I think they said that it wasn't this bad in 70 years. And in some sections of the beach, they've lost between 10 and 13 feet. Uh, and we're talking about in depth. We're not talking about uh, in linear feet on a run from, from uh, basically the road, shall we say, all the way out to uh, where the water uh, is lapping up on the beach. We're just talking about how much sand vertically is gone. And you got to see it to believe it. And uh, of course, the only plus side is that they're pulling out treasure that's been down there for decades that was out of reach. And it's just tremendous. So um, catch Michael Oliver's channel on YouTube and you can see that for yourself. Uh, the video is is uh, from uh, late September 2022. All right, um, all right. Thanks for visiting Lobster Claws Recovery. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and we appreciate it. Today wasn't as good as it could have been, but uh, who knows? Maybe I'll go out again later today. I'm up to it. Okay, bye.